Hi guys, welcome to my Skywatch 2 channel. Today we have another jewelry jar to open up. This one is six pounds, four ounces. Um, I haven't untaped it yet, so I just wanted to give you a short little show here. It doesn't look greatly promising, but We'll open it anyway and see what we have. What's your puppy? A little puppy. Yes. What's that? I don't know. We will soon find out. So, let me get busy getting it open. I'm going to pause it while I take the tape off. Or maybe not. Okay, I've got the tape off. Open it up. And bring it out. And see what we have. I'm going to use my little um, separating system. This is a little picture frame. Stands up like that. That's going in a craft lot. This right here is a little turquoise necklace. It's not real turquoise, but it's turquoise-like. It's got a spring ring, ring clasp. It's very well made. And that's the end. We're gonna put that in the necklace lot. Here we have a woven bracelet, and it's got the pull to tighten it or shorten it. So there we go. Whoops. And then we have this other little bracelet. It's got a Taco class. It's in Mardi Gras colors, and there's your little mask. It's in the um, yellow, green, and purple. Those are Mardi Gras colors. It is broken because oh, it just needs to be put back together again. So it's going in the craft lot until it's fixed. It's either get fixed or it will stay in the craft lot. Here is a man's um, cuff link. It's in a gold tone, a little weaving here on top. That's going in the craft lot, unless I find a match. Here is a little earring. And this is the old style hoop, and it possibly could be gold. Let's see if it's magnetic. No, it's not. It's going in the testing box. Here's a little clip earring. It's going in the earring lot. I don't see any signature on it. But it's well made. There's not um, hardly any wear, if any. I don't readily see any wear on it. Hopefully we'll get a match. Here are these silk beaded necklaces. There's two here. One's in a teal and one's in a blue. Very pretty colors. This blue is kind of washed out though, but the teal one is still pretty. So I would probably, probably go ahead and keep these together. since they are um, similar in the necklace lot. Here's a little clip earring. This little bead has a little bit of wear on it. It's probably magnetic, but we'll see. No, it's not. this part is. 
the, this bead that has maybe tarnish on it is not. So let's test the little bead. Here's another hoop. And we had a hoop like this in the other one, so now I've got the match. I just have to pull it out and find it. That happens sometimes in these jars. That's why I go ahead and buy all the jars, even if they look good or not. Um, that's the way our Goodwill is, so yours may be different. You may have a better, easier way to choose. This is a pretty little um, glass earring. Very pretty indeed. I really like that. Oh, it's pretty. I'm going to put this on pause and turn some more light on. There we go. That's a little better. Here's a pretty blue beaded it's an older necklace. You have the barrel clasp. It just screws together. It's got some wear on it. It's a pretty little blue with the gold beads in between, the spacer beads. that in the necklace lot. Here's some little light Mardi Gras pearl. I'm going to put those in the craft lot. This is a child's little bracelet here. I don't know if it comes apart or not. I can't get it apart. It's a cute little bracelet for that to go in the child's lot. Here's a pretty little Noah's Ark brooch. Here's the back. It's in good condition. That will go in the brooch lot. I need to change out. Get the necklace one, the bigger one. Move the smaller one for the brooches. There we go. Here's a pretty little silver tone earring. It almost looks like a gunmetal color. It's not magnetic not marked anywhere that I can see. Oh yes, I do see a marking. I see it right in there. But I can't read it. You need the loop to read that, so let me pull out my loop. It says bronze Myler, Italy. So that's a nice little earring. I hope I find the other one. Hope, hope. There's always hope. Here's one of these little bangles. It's got a little coloring on it. Very skinny. Ooh. Ooh, we got a rhinestone, triple row, rhinestones. I believe this is like a choker type. It's got a very long extender on it though. Let's see if I can fasten it here. Sometimes I'm all thumbs. Now what's that all about? There we go. It's very pretty. Like I said, it's got a very long extender. And there are no rhinestones missing. That will go in the necklace lot. Here's a little hoop earring. 
some pretty green stones and little rhinestones. I don't see any markings. Here's a K. That pen looks awful. Here's the back. This is like a stone or a rock and they painted a K on it. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's got a lobster claw class. I would probably take this off because it just doesn't look right with these pearls to me. What do you guys think? I think that K is coming off. Here's the little puppy. It's a keychain. Dalmatian. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Here it is. Pretty little gold tone chain. It's not attached in any way. So it looks like it was just chain that you could buy. So I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Oh. Sometimes the stuff just does not come out easy and I hate to pull on things. I'm always afraid of breaking. We don't want to break the stuff before we even get it out. And some of it can be very delicate because a lot of times it is vintage like this was. And it's come apart. I'm not sure exactly how to fix it. It's got an old clasp, box clasp. And all the findings are there. It needs repairing. Put it together for right now and there it is and it would be double chain if that was attached and it would look like this very nice earth tone colors some of these beads are stone because they are glass because they are very cold so as that is broken as it is now it goes in the craft lot Here's a little earring, hoop earring, and black and silver tone. It is not magnetic. I don't know if it's silver. It's very lightweight and we'll put it in to be tested. Here's another little earring that's connected. I don't get it unless you put it in, unless you're double, you have double holes in your ears. I guess that's how that goes. That's different. I have never seen that before. It's a new one on me. Oh, look at this screw back earring with the cameo design. It's very pretty. Green is very pretty. It looks turquoise like. Here's the back. It's pretty. It's got a kind of a greenish discoloration here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. That's very pretty old piece. Here's a pretty little heart, gold tone. Here's the chain. It's a delicate chain. It's got some discoloration. You'll see it right in there. See as it turns darker. I wonder if this is magnetic. I can turn this around. 
around a little bit better. Make it where y'all can see. Yes, it's magnetic. It's a pretty little dainty necklace, though. It's going in the necklace slot. Now, I will go through that again and decide if I put want to put more of that in the craft lot, but just to get through the video of this and at least separating them by different lots now. This makes it pretty easy. This is a bracelet, pearl bracelet for little stones. Here's the back side. It's a lobster claw class. It's got an extender with a little bead. Let's see if we got some magnetism going here on the jump rings, but not on the pearl settings. These are not magnetic, but the jump rings between are. Uh, again, the chain feels magnetic. Yeah, the chain's magnetic. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bother to test that or not. I think I will because I'm going to test those little stones too to make sure they're not diamonds. Here's a little Aurora Borealis. Very pretty. Rhinestone bracelet. It's got a little bead added to it. A little charm, bead charm. Here is a pearl pendant. It's got a nice bell on there, so you could use it on a different chain. That feels like a real pearl. I'm not seeing any markings, but I'll need to look at it with the loop. Here's the chain, it's like a rope chain. Here's your lobster claw clasp and your extender. It's in good shape, not discolored. Let's see what we got here. Chain is magnetic. And up, oh, a pearl part is not and it's got a little stone right here too so I'm going to test that I'm going to look at it through the loop real quick and see if I see anything quick that tells me if it's 925 or white gold let's see no I don't see anything readily But I'm going to put it aside and test it all. So it kind of looks like it goes with that bracelet. Ooh, I like this. It's a stretchy bracelet, but I love these kind of bracelets. I love these crystal stones. Of course, I have my ugly old watch on here, and I'm going to fitness watch. It's not ugly, but it's not. To show with jewelry. Here we go. That's pretty. I like that. Now, what else do we have? This is pretty. We have a lobster claw clasp. It's a little extender. It's quite longer than it's showing there. You've got, what, five chains? Yeah, five chains. It's normally five chains. Coming down to these gold beads and then you have the pink and clear beads with the gold beads and bronze beads that are mingled very beautiful drape on this love this beaded necklace and it's cold so those are glass beads it's a nice necklace the next one is an older necklace hopefully it has survived the jar looks like it has survived the jar but it's old and crusty 
it's got something written on that, I think. Yes, it does. Let me see if I can read it. And I cannot. So. Oh, there's something written on this, too. Down here, I'm going to try to read that. That says Japan. So these are definitely old. Um, I would not attempt to clean these. You can see that some of the beads are... Pearls are already... The finish is coming off. This is just an old piece to put in a display. Because like I said, the beads are not, the pearls are not in good shape. It's a very vintage piece. I'm going to keep it aside because it's very um, delicate. Here's a little French wire earring. Little paddles. It looks like little oars to me. It's not magnetic, so that could be silver. I don't see anything written. So I will test that. Oh my, here we go. This one is attached. And it's got the magnetic piece there. They just have it attached to this necklace. So I don't know if it goes with that or not. Remember we had another magnetic and this is crystal. This is real crystal here. Piece in another jar. So I'm going to put that in with the... I had put it with the, the craft lot. So I'm going to put that one with the craft lot. Here's another double. With somebody with double pierced earrings. Little mesh bow. It's very cute. Like that. We have Mr. Rusty here. This is very rusty. It's too bad. It's like one of those scarves. Or it could be a belt. Looks more like a belt. You got this hook here. And it's pretty big. But it's got rusty balls here. This one's fine. That one's not. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Here's a little earring. A little hoop with a butterfly. Lever back style. Put that in with the single earrings for now. Here's a little cross. Bracelet. These are all cold stones. Or either glass stones. That one's odd. So if these were dyed, the dye and this one went all in one place. Yeah, these are probably glass. Very cold. Pretty colors. They're all faceted. And the cross has all its rhinestones. And it's in pretty good shape as far as the finish goes. Here's another cuff link. And look at that stone is gorgeous. And it's marked. Dante. It's very pretty. Put that in the craft lot just for now. Here's a very old pen. A lot of vintage pieces in here. That's the thistle. Here's the back. So you have your your C clasp, a real true true C clasp. 
And this kind of looks like, I don't know, brass. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Very pretty. Another vintage piece. It's going in with the brooches. Oh, good. We got a pair here with the little, um, the butterfly with the little green stones, the lever back earring. Here's the other one. Here's a little New York piece. You have your lobster claw clasp. It's got a little, little tarnish discoloration. There's the extender, which is humongously long. It is, I'm going to connect it a little bit lower on the extender. I'm going to use this larger hoop, a larger ring here, that one, and now we're going to look at the necklace. These are filled to be plastic beads, and they look like crushed glass in pink and purple, and then you have fasted beads, clear beads, and then you have a red and a marble marbled oval bead and this bead here is definitely a, a dark purplish red pink color grape color and then it's a nice layering piece or it could be worn along alone Well, let's see what we have here. We have here is a tangled mess. Let's see what I can do about that. Oh, I've got one loose. This very milk chocolate necklace with a spring ring clasp that is disconnected which is an easy fix so I will fix that one because I like this chocolate brown color and it's got the pretty um, pretty little spacer beads between they kind of look creamy and then they get look kind of goldish too so but that is a true chocolate necklace We'll put it in the craft lot because it needs to be fixed. The next item up is a large cross. This looks like it's enamel on brass. There's the chain looks brassy. And again, it's broken. So, I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Ooh. Here's a watch. Can't determine the name on it. Very thin leather band on it. That will probably tell us the name. Carriage by Timex. That's what that is, a carriage by Timex. Very um, thin watch, leather watch, leather band. In good shape, not dirty or not coming apart. Very nice little watch. I guess it's not a wind up. What 
let's see. Is she jealous? If I could read it. Stainless steel. Yeah, it looks like it's run. Here's the battery number, I believe. I have my husband look at that. That goes in the watch lot. I'll put that over here in the watch lot. Watch it, watch it. Oh, this is what the problem is. This thing here has got stuff tangled up in it. Always makes it fun. I'm going to do my best to pull them off. Now, what is it? What's it? What's it? I don't know. What is it? What's it? Looks like ants or people. What do you guys think? Earthworms, I don't know. I have not a clue. Let's do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need something to drink. I'm not a clue what this is. I'm going to set it aside because I don't want it to get it tangled up in anything else. Okay, we're going to end this right here, and I'm going to untangle some more of this, and we'll come back with part two. Thank you for watching my videos. Be right back.